Hello everyone and welcome back to Neoberg. Um, this is our modern playthrough and we've managed to get our train lines in through for bricks and what have you. Um, I'm just going to crack on with it. What we want to do is set up a machine line over here so that we can hook in not only um, Burglar Marsh which doesn't want too many machines um, or this one which doesn't want too many sh machines but Bawtry which wants 125 machines so we also have a little Hampton over here that wants a few machines um, so that should be a fairly good little industry to crack into um, we've also I'm just gonna pause it here so we don't have the wind noise we do have um, a steel mill and a sawmill in relative close proximity to the um, Burglar Marsh Machines factory and this factory is also connected to the train line that we just put in so we can make more use out of the train line if we um, put that into uh, to work here so without further ado we have ore and we also have coal although admittedly this one's a little bit further away it's a little bit harder for it to get to um, we did have a massive road coming through here to I think it was a oil um, crude oil uh, well so we could probably follow this again and put a road through this way but I don't know whether it would be just quicker to come down this way from up here um, we have coal there I just wonder whether we have any other coal we have coal there so they're pretty far apart which is the only thing um, to equalize that the easiest thing to do is have um, the road well the line that you use to connect these up to have um, one end have the ore and the other end have the coal and that way it sort of equalizes it out a little bit just wondering whether there's any other coal that's easier for us to this might be oh hang on there's one right there perfect okay so we've got so much ore around here <laughs> um, we can literally kind of take our pick but the um, the coal on the other hand is not too plentiful um, that being said there is there is pockets of it around um, so we can make use of that I don't think this necessarily warrants a train line for the um, ore especially not initially where our uh, level is quite low um, but with the sawmill so we've got a supply here at Alford but then the nearest one is already in use um, I'm pretty sure all of these are in use this one's pretty far away and it's next to a sawmill anyway in fact it's next to two sawmills um, but what we can do is utilize the train line that comes through here so we can utilize the burglar marsh uh, bricks line because that's actually a flat side stake car we can just use that train to connect into here and then hopefully if we just do a road line through that should be um, fairly good for bringing through the um, the lumber from here so yeah where we go for the coal I'm not too sure in fact I may well let that one um, despawn and then use one of these other ones that's fairly easier to, to get to so without further ado let's uh, just crack on and get this set up I'm gonna hit play so that the game continues through and we can then hopefully make some good use out of these lines coming through here So we've got a coal and an ore there. We've got a coal and an ore here. Which 
just need to connect them up. Is there a, um, yeah, there's a thing there, that's fine. So, that will connect in there. Nice, 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 cool. Uh, I'm not too sure about this road, but anyway. Potentially we could build a, a little drop-off point here. So, if we did fast roads, between here and here, and then we can do a depot here as well. And this should take the steel to where it needs to go, which is just up the road here. <laughs> um, we'll just have um, a line that links these up. That'll be fine. So what we need is an exit on this side. We need to delete that one. We need to put on a building either end. And then there's plenty of, plenty of overflow if there needs to be. These two in. We'll connect that in. And then we need a drop off point. So we'll just put these either end. And then that way there's the whole road that can act as a bit of a um, overflow. Uh, it might be nice if we connect this bit up here, considering the road will be going out that way. We'll need to connect in the... Oh! What's all this? Station... Oh, that's new. I haven't seen that before. Must be something from the update. Um, so yeah, it was trying to tell me something. Um, I didn't quite see it, to be honest. Right. What we can do here is connect in this road. So then that also acts as a bit of a more con direct route through for this one. So if we put in a road here somewhere, that can connect in there, this can connect in here, that one's linked up. So if we do a line here, that connects in there, and then it goes and picks up more coal, and then that effectively goes back. Nice, okay. And then we'll need a or here. And a coal here. Yeah, I don't know about that one. That doesn't seem to um, connect in very well. Maybe we'll need to do another place where it can um, turn around. Maybe. But it'll do for now. Um, so, hopefully this already connects here. No, it doesn't. It gets up to this point, so you can tell by the little almost like path here. Um, overlay and uh, it doesn't continue up to here. Maybe we just need to make the road a little bit closer. So if we did something like a 
Oops. That connects into there. We can also put in some steps here, which will make it a little bit closer. Yes, that's now connected there. Awesome. So if we bring some um, wood through, so some logs, maybe from like here or something else nearby. I mean, there's got to be a forest. There's a forest nearby. But then again, it's got that massive hill in the way. I am thinking we need to alter the road here a little bit. Because at the moment, we've got the tools lines going straight through Little Hampton, which will be causing some emissions. Uh, yeah, right where we don't want them. <coughs> So what we could do is have like a road that comes through and it's a little bit more direct to Ilkley. And hopefully that will serve as a bit of a cut through that doesn't go through Littlehampton. So we could work these roads into that potentially. Um, it's probably going to have to tunnel, unfortunately. I don't know whether maybe having just a direct route from Dover down to Ilkley might do it. we would probably have to tunnel on this end for sure. But this is fairly flat, so it would pretty much just go into a tunnel at this point. Um, what's the height difference here actually? Do we want it to be going straight down? So here it's 22 meters. Here it's 28. Actually, that's pretty flat all the way through. So if we did a road down from here, then that could go in right where this road's coming out. Fairly flat here. Uh, 22 meters, wasn't it? 27. Right about here. So I'm just putting my finger on the screen where it was. Uh, we want it to come through about there. And that's a pretty flat tunnel. It's a very expensive tunnel just for this cut through, but hopefully this hill doesn't cause any issues. We can go around this hill, hopefully. And we want to connect in up here. Like so. And why don't we connect in this little bit as well? the road used to go this way and then that can serve as another way through for um, Lillehampton to Ilkley uh, as well so has that affected the light yes it's automatically gone through Dover which is good because we can actually do sort of a, ro a road around Dover which will hopefully um, be a bit faster for it so, if we do, we want a road here. I'll tell you what, just keep that straight and flat. And then we'll 
plug this into here. Could continue this road through. I suppose that'll do. And then we'll connect in here. God, that's really weird with the tunnel underneath. Um, So what we could do is just connect this route through and then that would be up to Coolsden. Um If we did like a road over here or under, looks like that's already going under there. What's the height difference around here? It's pretty flat, isn't it? 183, 191, 193. And then right where this goes that way, it's a bit of a drop actually. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. What should we do? We could potentially go up this way, and then that would be an alternate way through to Bawtry. Hmm. 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 For now, I think we'll just connect it through this way. And then what we can do is connect this up through here. And then that is uh, another way round Dover. So that stuff doesn't have to go through Dover and affect the emissions potentially. Yeah, that would have been affecting the emissions, so that's good. Um, I'm just wondering whether there's another way we could connect through without it interfering with this road, but to be fair, it's not really doing much. If we upgrade that, so then it's like high speed here. Yeah, that should be fine. Cool. Okay. And we've got this way through, which we're going to be putting in at some point. But we could always connect up this through down here. potentially have another way up this way. Dover is a fairly large city in its own right. Again, we've got this massive hill here, which is going to be probably quite troublesome, but that works. So then we've effectively got a connection down here, which will not necessarily take any different routes that way, but it's a another route which stuff can go through. more options. Hopefully it means that we prevent a lot of the emissions that are already happening. 
just by having it take a slightly different approach round. And this road goes down to um, Loughton here, doesn't it? So we could continue this one through at this point. come out this way where these intersect is roughly where we would want a road to come through and then we can connect that up there we could possibly even do a road through for Swindon here um, connecting up Dover as well but it's not really needed because they've got this route down here um, if we just upgrade this road a little bit, then hopefully it should make it a little bit more foolproof of a link between uh, Loughton and the rest of the area. We don't have a direct route between, between Ilkston and Loughton, which we could potentially quite easily do here. some hills I didn't realize there was so many mountains here I've gotten a little bit distracted to be fair <laughs> it's weird there was a road hit once it looks like this has been cleared of trees uh, how can we connect in Ilkston here maybe just do a road out this way even if it isn't the 10 minute connection that the game wants, it's a connection which will hopefully. Let's just lower that so that it's all running along the road, running along the ground, even. Hopefully it will be a connection through that the two cities can use. So then they have this route round here. Which I don't know whether that will be a fast enough route through, but it's worth a try. And they've also got Swindon here, which is connected through. Um, might as well just do a through road here, just so that stuff can get down to this area a little bit quicker. Sweet, so that would be a connection through to, oh, up here, which we haven't actually connected up again. Um, we could also go underneath. And potentially 
connect in down here. effectively creates a bit of a cut through for say Loton up because they can come here and then come through to say like Winsford and West Ham um, but obviously that's that's a little bit far I don't think they would be going that way but it's a connection um, right back to <laughs> what we were actually uh, doing in this episode, which is the connections here. Uh, just trying to think what would be best here. So, I mean, obviously, this is connected to this main road, but I don't necessarily want it to be off of that main road because that would cause um, potentially traffic there. We could do a tunnel under this way, not that it's really needed. How far would this have to go down? Probably like there. I would say. So then if it stays flat and goes down even more, no, that's not enough. Right, so we want you to go underneath, basically. stay flat at that point. I'll try and make this as small as possible. So we don't want the tunnel there really. It's just a different way through. That connects up here. Um, literally I don't think anything's going to come through this way but it's a connection. Um, so if we connect that bit up there, and then if we did like an area on the back here where stuff can be delivered from. Like so. We'd want it delivered up here and then we'd want to pick up the resulting planks and drop them off here. And we could use the exact same route So if we do an exit here, we can then have this connecting down here. Um, so we need to drop off planks and then we'll have it go and pick up the steel. 
I'll drop off on the way back the steel. So it'd be the exact same line here. That'll be picking up here and dropping off there. Oh, it's using this route through. Okay. I mean, maybe if we upgrade the roads through this way a little bit, that may well entice it to come through this way. Um, but let's just work out exactly what it needs to do first. So we need it to pick up logs. These are logs, aren't they? Yeah, logs. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm tempted just to call them like wood. Um, so then we want it to unload its logs and pick up planks. And then it will be unloading planks here. And then picking up. Do we want it to fill up? I guess not. That's fine. Steel. And then dropping that off as well. There we go. Awesome. So we have line number one, which is for coal and ore. And then line number two, which is also for coal and ore. And then we have line number three, which is for logs and planks and steel. Um, I'm going to try and upgrade these roads through. Just because I'd rather they use this route and not the... Um, main road, although I'm tempted to upgrade this route as well. Um, and then that way, it, whichever way it's going is the fastest route. Uh, so it's coming down this way and then it's going back this way, which probably makes sense because it needs to connect in here. But then again, if we maybe connect in around this point. Um, that might change because at the moment it's coming off here to go over the bridge. Whereas if we had a connection here, it would then come through there. It may even go back that way then as well because these roads are a bit faster, these larger roads. We could even connect up here, potentially. Um, but yeah, I think for now, let's just get some vehicles on that. So where's a depot? Uh, where is the nearest depot? I think over this one. Oh, we've already got a bunch of... Um, trucks with side stakes so that's nice we actually have a load of them I don't know how many is needed so I'm just gonna put 10 on this for now um, we're gonna need some potentially dump trucks for these other lines Oh, we got the new, um, well, I don't know what they, they're, they're Jifang, Jifang, J6P, tarpaulin trucks, and also the new side state trucks, so, and the dump trucks, sweet, okay, um, which actually carry, like, a fair amount more. So we'll probably get like 10 of these. Oh, actually, we need two lines worth, don't we? 20 of these. So 
that would be 10, that's 13, 10 on line one, and then 10 on line two. Um, these ones, I don't know whether we should upgrade them, potentially. That actually costs more money than we have. Um, so I'll leave it there. Uh, <laughs> um, but yeah, that, that should be a really good start. We need to hook in the logs, but for now... Road. 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 Um, coal and ore. Number one, Berg. Le Marsh. So I'm just putting in the name of the city so I know roughly where it is. This one would be number two. Um, this one would be. This is actually quite a busy one, so it's logs, planks, and steel. I think that's definitely the first of its type. We've got logs and planks, but not logs, planks, and steel. So it is the first of its type. I think I'll just color it brown to go with the other ones that are here. Um, and then I don't think we've got a colon or line already. Um, I don't know what color to go with. So coal's sort of like the the gray, gray, blackish sort of silverish color. So we could go with that. Or the or is orange. I guess the two of them would be like a darker orange, almost like a brown maybe. But then we've got the logs and planks line with brown. So actually, I think going with orange is quite a good one because it signifies that it's got the ore. Um, and then that should be all sorted then for down here. We do want these to pick up fully, so let's just make sure they are I don't know why I did it quite so haphazardly but hey ho so yeah that is everything hooked up oh wow we've made 21 million so we could potentially uh, upgrade those um, these ones now um, which I might well do I'd like these new trucks because they look pretty funky. Um, we have a quick look at one of them. In fact, if we go into this, it's got like a fancy. Um, I don't know what that's called. Like not a roll cage. It'd be protecting the the cabin from logs and things. And then on the back, it's just connected by like one bit of metal which kind of looks like it might be a drivetrain to the back but I don't know um, just for super maneuverability it, it just looks really funky as a truck I really quite like this one um, but it is a very long truck at the same time those ones are shorter uh, as you can see in this bit like these ones are fairly long I mean these ones are also pretty long but um, the 40 ton trucks don't carry as much. They carry 32. These carry 38. So hopefully this will be more than ample for um, these lines and where they have to go on the um, 62 mile an hour roads it might be quite a good little connection through. I'm really tempted to connect, connect this up. So I think I'll do it and see how it goes. Um... We don't want it to be a traffic light though. No thank you. So it's just a giveaway. 
it's not actually going back that way, which is good. Um, so this road will see some use, which is good because we actually upgraded it. Um, we could very well change the orientation of this so that it actually kind of looks a little bit better. Um, maybe even give it two. So we've put an exit there. Then this and this will serve as a bit of a quicker way through now. I'll just um Oh no that won't work, will it? No, that's fine. Um so we want that to go to number two if it's full, which it probably will be at some point, which is absolutely fine. Uh, so yeah, I think I'll leave it there. This has been a really good episode because we've managed to pretty much get machines hooked up in a way that we can then um, supply them to the different cities in the area. Um, so hopefully this will be a really good little uh, route. Uh, we do need to hook up a second uh, forest, probably this one over here, just connecting it with a line would be fine. Um, but for now, I'm going to leave that as it is. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please let me know with your thumbs. If you haven't, likewise, let me know with your thumbs. If uh, your thumbs just don't cut it, then let me know with a comment down below. Um, if you have enjoyed, then please consider subscribing. It means that you will know when the new episodes are out uh, as soon as they're out. And um, yeah, it really helps out the channel. Um, thank you for watching. Until next time, have a good one. Thanks. Goodbye.